Hi everyone. Today we will see one practice paper based on algebra. Let us start. First question is make x the subject of the formula. So here what we do we shift this x in the denominator on left. So we have x y a is equals to now open this 5 into p minus 2 x you will get 5 p minus 10 x then we will collect all x on one side so you have x y plus 10 x is equals to 5 p let us take x common so you have x times y plus 10 is equals to 5 p then divide both the sides by y plus 10 we get x is equals to y 5p x is equals to 5p divided by y plus 10 so your answer is 5p divided by y plus 10 second question darpan runs a distance of 12 kilometer and then cycles a distance of 26 kilometer his running speed is x kilometer per hour and his cycling speed is 10 kilometer per hour faster than his running speed. He takes a total time of 2 hours 48 minutes. An expression for time in hours Darpan take to run 12 kilometer is 12 divided by x. So you can see that uh, Darpan runs a distance of 12 kilometer and uh, the speed of running is running speed is x kilometer per hour. So the time is 12 upon x. Now the question is write an equation in terms of x for the total time he take in hours. So total time. Now this 12 upon x is the time of running. Similarly, he cycles for a distance of 26 kilometer. So 26 divided by x plus 10 will be the time taken for cycling. So 12 upon x plus 26 upon x plus 10 you can see that uh, cycling speed is 10 km per hour faster than running speed so it is x plus 10 and this total time is given 2 hours 48 minutes so it is 2 hour 48 minutes now this 48 minute if i convert in hours it is 48 divided by 60 so this is 2 plus now 48 divided by 60 um, you can convert it in simple form it is 4 divided by 5 so 2 plus 4 divided by 5 or we can say that this 12 divided by x plus this 26 divided by x plus 10 is equals to 14 divided by 5 okay now if you want you can write this 14 upon 5 in decimal form that is okay now second part of the question is show that this equation simplifies to 7x square minus 25x minus 300 equal to 0 okay but before that i will write this equation in the space provided so here we will write 12 divided by x plus 26 divided by x plus 10 is equals to 14 divided by 5 okay now second here I have to simplify this equation in this format. So let us first write the equation once again. So it is 12 divided by x plus 26 divided by x plus 10 equal to 14 divided by 5. Okay, so let us simplify left hand side. So we will cross multiply. We will multiply 12 with x plus 10 and then 26 uh, with x and this whole divided by x times x plus 10 and this is equals to 14 divided by 5 okay now 5 will multiply on numerator of left hand side and 40 is multiplied by x into x plus 10 we will simplify this we will get 12 times x is 12x plus 12 times 10 is 120 plus 26x this whole we will multiply by 5 and this is equals to x times x is x square plus 10x 
this whole is multiplied by 14. Now 5 times 12 is it is 60x uh, but before that we can add this 12 and this 26 so 12 plus 26 is 38 so it is 38 times x plus 120 multiplied by 5 is equals to now 14 multiplied by x square is 14 x square plus 14 times 10 is what 140 x this gives me 38 times 5, 5 8 is a 40, 0, 4, 5 3 is a 15 plus 4, 19. So this is 190x plus 12 5 is a 60. So it is 190x plus 600 is equals to 14x square plus 140x. So let us bring everything towards the side where we have x square term. So we will have 14x square plus 140x minus 190x minus 600 is equals to 0. So this is 14x square. Now 140 minus 190 is minus 50. So it is minus 50x minus 600 is equals to 0. Now we can divide each term by 2. We will get 7x square minus 25x minus 300 equal to 0. So we obtain the required expression or we obtain the required equation. Now third question you have to expand and simplify. Expand and simplify. So here we will first expand first two brackets. So here x will be multiplied by x minus 2 and plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 and this whole thing is multiplied by x plus 3. So x multiplied by x minus 2 is your x square minus 2x plus x minus 2. This whole thing is multiplied by x plus 3. Now x square minus 2x plus x will be minus x minus 2. Okay, this we have to multiply by x plus 3. Okay, now this x square we will multiply by x plus 3. Then minus x we multiply by x plus 3. And then minus 2 we multiply by x plus 3. So this is x cube plus 3x square minus x square minus 3x minus 2x minus 6. Finally, we get x cube. So here I will write the final answer. It is x cube. 3x square minus x square will be plus 2x square. Minus 3x minus 2x is minus 5x. Minus 6. This is my expansion of x plus 1 into x minus 2 into x plus 3. Question number 4 is factorize. Factorize means I have to convert this in product form. Now if you observe carefully from 15 and 20 we can take uh, 5 common. So after taking 5 if we see k plus g the whole square and k plus g here also we get uh, k plus g common. Okay. So 5 times k plus g we can take common. Now what is left? So 3 times k plus g and uh, so let us use this bracket <coughs> and uh, from here minus 20 k plus g here if i take 5 common so 4 is left k plus g already we have taken common so we get this expression now 5 times k plus g and this we if we open the bracket it is 3 k plus 3 g minus 4. So this is your answer. Question number 5 we have to solve 1 upon x plus 1 plus 9 upon x plus 9 is equals to 1. So here 1 is multiplied by x plus 9 plus 9 is multiplied by x plus 1 whole divided by 
x plus 1 is multiplied by x plus 9. I hope you understand what I am doing here. This is equals to 1. Now x plus 9, your numerator is x plus 9 plus 9x plus 9 is equals to now this whole thing which is in denominator i will shift on right hand side so it is one time so one time i have to write x plus 1 times x plus 9 let us expand it x time x is x square plus x time 9 is 9x plus 1 time x is x plus 1 time 9 is 9 so here x plus 9x will be 10x and 9 plus 9 is 18. So 10x plus 18 is equal to, now on this side we have x square. 9x plus x is what? 10x plus 9. Okay. So this will give me x square plus 10x plus 10x. This 10x and 10x will cancel. And I have x square plus 9 minus 18 is equal to 0 this gives you x square minus 9 is equal to 0 this 9 can be written as x square minus 3 square is equal to 0 so this you can write as x minus 3 times x plus 3 x minus 3 times x plus 3 is equal to 0 so that will give you x minus 3 0 or it will give you x plus 3 equal to 0 so from here you will get x is equal to 3 or you will get x is equal to minus 3 <clears throat> now question number 6 m power minus 1 by 4 we have m power minus 1 by 4 is equals to 27 into m power minus 1 now let us move m on one side so here i can say that m power minus 1 by 4 divided by m power minus 1 a is equal to 27. Now m power minus 1 by 4 minus of minus 1 will be equal to 27. Now here what we are doing? We are using the concept as if a power b divided by a power c is given then it can be written as a power b minus c. So m power here left hand side will be m power minus 1 by 4 plus 1 is what it is minus 3 divided by 4 and on this side it is 27 that we can write as 3 power uh, this is plus 1 so it will be plus 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 is what plus 3 by 4 27 can be written as 3 power 3 okay so this gives you m power 1 by 4 now this this can be left hand side can be written as m power 1 upon 4 the whole cube and your right hand side is 3 cube so if you compare your left side and right side you will get m power 1 by 4 is equals to 3 and therefore you have m is equals to this gives you m is equals to 3 power 4 okay so m is equals to 3 power 4 is 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 9 is 81 so your value of m is 81 okay so here basically if you want to add one step here what we are doing m power 1 by 4 here we are taking fourth power so here also it is fourth power and then 1 by 4 and 4 this will cancel now seventh question x cube upon 8 power minus 4 by 3 now this i can write as now here your power is negative so again you have a concept like if you have a power minus b it can be written as 1 upon a power b so what we are doing we are taking reciprocal of this a or else you can also write this as 1 upon a the whole power b you can write like that also okay so x cube divided by 8 uh, i can write as 8 divided by x cube and its whole power is 4 divided by 3 now 8 itself can be written as 2 cube so it is 2 divided by x the whole power 3 and whole power we have 4 divided by 3 
so this will be 2 divided by x power 3 times 4 divided by 3 again you know law of indices as a power b the whole power c can be written as a power b times c so this will give you this 3 and 3 will cancel and you will get answer as 2 divided by x the whole power 4 or you can write as 2 power 4 is 16 divided by x power 4 so either you write 2 divided by x the whole power 4 or 16 divided by x power 4 now your question number 8 you have to find the value of p and value of q okay so this expression here we have two way of solving this problem now the simple way is that you keep your left hand side as x square plus 8x plus 10 and you expand your right hand side so this right hand side will become x square plus 2px plus p square plus q now if i compare both the sides this x square on the left and right they are same so we can cancel now this 8x and this 2px we can compare them so from here we can say that 8 will be equal to 2p and this gives you the value of p is equal to 4 next uh, constant term if i compare so 10 will be equal to p square plus q now the value of p is 4 so p square is what 16 16 plus q and on the left side we have 10 so that gives you the value of q is equal to 10 minus 16 and 10 minus 16 is minus 6 so value of p is 4 value of q is minus 6 uh, question number 9 the area of the rectangle is 29 centimeter square greater than area of the square the difference between the perimeter of the two shape is k k centimeter find the value of k and uh, you must show all your working okay so the first condition which is given to us is the area of rectangle okay now area of rectangle if you see area of rectangle you can say that it is uh, let me write over here this is space i will say that x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 this is area of rectangle now it is said that this is 29 plus it is 29 centimeter square greater than area of square so area of square is x square so it is 29 plus x square now let us simplify this x times 2x is 2x square and x times 1 is plus x then minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 and it is equals to 29 plus x squares let us bring everything on the left side so 2x square minus x square will give you x square uh, then plus x minus 2x will be minus x and then minus 1 minus 29 is minus 30 is equals to 0 now we will take two factors of uh, this uh, minus 30 and uh, the factor should be such that their addition is minus 1 now as the product is negative your one factor will be negative and one factor will be positive okay so if you try your minus 6 times 5 will give you a result as minus 30 and when you add your result is minus 1 so i will write this x square minus x minus 30 as x square minus 6x plus 5x minus 30 is equals to 0 here i will take x common so it is x minus 6 plus i take 5 common so it is x minus 6 again is equals to 0 so here i will have x plus 5 times x minus 6 a 0 this gives me the value of x is equals to minus 5 or value of x is equals to 6 now x is equals to minus 5 cannot be my solution as your length cannot be negative so therefore we will say that x is equals to 6 now perimeter if i see what is perimeter of uh, rectangle 
perimeter of rectangle is two times your length now length if i see the value of x is 6 so my length is 2 times 6 times 2 is 12 12 plus 1 13 so it is 2 times 13 times your width is 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 is 5 so this is perimeter of rectangle and uh, perimeter of square if we see this is uh, 5 times 2 is 10 and 13 times 10 is 130 then perimeter of square is 4 times your x which is 6 so 4 times 6 is 24 um let me see okay that is correct now here ah uh, here i made a mistake perimeter is your 2 times your length plus breadth so length plus breadth breadth is 5 so 15 13 plus 5 18 18 times 2 is 36 so your perimeter of rectangle is 36 and perimeter of square is 24 k is the difference between perimeter of two shapes so your k is nothing but it is your 36 minus 24 which is equals to 12 so i will say that k is equals to 12 centimeter okay now unit is important if you forget to write unit you may lose marks now 10th problem is f is inversely proportional to square of d so it is given that f is directly proportional to d square now explain what happened to f when d is halved so when you half d what will happen to f actually if you see you can write f is equals to some k times d square okay now if uh, i am taking half of d then my f will be equal to k times d by 2 the whole square okay so this gives you f is equals to k times d square divided by 4 now let us replace this f as f1 better we will say that f1 now kd square is your f so here f is inversely proportional to square of d Achha, it is inversely proportional means it is 1 upon d square so 1 upon d square so it is k divided by d square so k divided by d square means the product will remain constant the product will remain constant so it is 1 divided by 1 divided by k d square divided by 4 is f1 so what we can say that your uh, 4 times um, let me reframe this thing f is uh, here f is inversely proportional to square of d so f is inversely proportional to square of d it is like this so we can say that f d square will be a constant so if i half d then what happened to f we have to take four times right okay so here explain what happened to f when d is halved so as d is halved f will be four times find the integer values of n that satisfies the inequality integer values okay so 18 minus n now this inequality i will separate i will write as 18 minus 2 n is less than 6 n and 6 n is less than or equal to 30 plus n so here we will have 18 is less than 6 plus 2 8 n and here we have 6n minus n is what 5n 5n is less than or equal to 30 so this gives me n greater than 18 divided by 8 and here n will be less than or equal to 30 divided by 5 is 6 okay so this 
18 divided by 8 is 8 times 2 16 8 times 3 so this n is greater than 2 so what integer values it satisfies so one integer value could be 3 then it is 4 5 till 6 i will take because n less than or equal to 6 and n greater than or equal to 18 by 8 is your answer and in integer 3 4 5 6 is your answer now question number 12 is y is inversely proportional to root x so you have y is equals to some constant k1 upon root x and uh, x is directly proportional to w square so it is given that x is directly proportional to w square means i can say that x is equals to some other constant k times w square so therefore um, we have to express y in terms of w so therefore you can say that y is equals to k1 divided by root of now in place of x we will write as k2 w square so therefore y is equals to it is k1 divided by root of k2 into 1 upon w now this k1 divided by root of k2 can be replaced with a single constant say k so it can be written as k divided by w so your relation between y and w is y is equal to k divided by w okay now uh, to get the value of k they have given w is 12 when y is 12 so i will say that 12 is equals to 12 is equal to k divided by 12 okay so this gives you the value of k as 12 times 12 is 144 so value of k is 144 and therefore i will say that y is equals to i will say that y is equals to now it is k divided by w so it is 144 divided by w so this is your expression for y so here we have few questions related with algebra i hope you understand all the questions yes right the question number one here question number one you have to make uh, x as a subject so you have to bring all x on one side separate it from other numbers or other variables and keep your x on one side rest of the things on right hand side will be your x as a subject okay you will get an expression x as a subject so let us stop here i hope um, all the problems you understand well if you have difficulty in solving some of the problems then better you go and revise that particular concept once again thank you